Hello and welcome to Selenium for Beginners. In this video, we are going to switch to pop-ups using Selenium switch methods. Another name for pop-ups is JavaScript alerts, or we can say alerts. There are three types of alerts. First is information alert. Second is confirmation alert. And the third is prompt alert. The information alert displays information to the user with only one button. A confirmation alert has information with two buttons and a prompt alert receives inputs from the user. Here's an example of a confirmation alert. Do you see how the background is gray? Sometimes the main web page is gray. One of the reasons the background is gray is to let us know we cannot interact with that part of the web page. Therefore, we are forced to perform an action on the alert. We can perform an action with one of these four methods, accept, dismiss, get text, or send keys. Let's look at the information alert. We are going to switch to an alert, then accept the alert. We see three buttons. Click the information alert. There is only one button with information that states, I am a JS alert. At this point, we cannot click any of the three alert buttons or perform any kind of action on the main page. There is not even an X to close the alert. Also, I am right clicking the mouse and I'm not allowed to inspect the alert box. In spite of that, we must switch to this alert and click the OK button. Notice the result says you successfully clicked an alert. Let's go to Eclipse and automate clicking the OK button. The setup method will set the property, open Chrome, maximize the window, and load the AUT. First, we find and click the JS alert button. Driver dot find element by xpath dot click inspect and find the button two forward slashes div two brackets at id equal two single quotes content forward slash div one one forward slash unordered list ul one one forward slash list item li one slash button copy and paste the xpath value next we wait for the alert to become present by adding an explicit wait statement. Web driver wait equal new web driver wait. Pass in the driver with a max of five seconds. Import wait until expected conditions alert is present now switch to the alert by writing driver dot switch to dot alert the description states switches to the currently active modal dialog for this particular driver instance in order to click the OK button, we must accept the alert. Therefore, we select accept. Let's go ahead and print the result. 
inspect the result and it has results as the value for id driver dot find element by id result print sys out and place the value inside sys out get the text of the result and let's run switch to information alert passed and we see the print statement we did not see the alert because execution ran so fast. I'm going to add a sleep statement before the switch statement, thread.sleep. Add throws declaration, exception. Thread.sleep is not a good practice, but for this demo, I want you to see the alert. Let's run again. That's it for switching to an alert and accepting the alert. Next, we are going to switch and cancel a confirmation alert.